Okay, we're happy. We won the game. I got my wish. I wanted to win one ugly. Uh, we did that. Uh, we had a key stretch for about five or six minutes in the second half where they didn't score, and uh, we scored 10 or 11. Would you say we scored them 11 to 1 during that time period? That was big for us. Our defense, believe it or not, really was better in the second half. The first half, we played without a brain, and it was it was not fun at halftime. It was not fun for me. It was not fun for them. Uh, but I liked our toughness making plays down the stretch. Nasir made two or three big baskets for us. Kobe made a big three. Kobe made a big drive to the basket. Uh, Cam made a big uh, uh, running one-hander off the board. Uh, so we made some big shots down the stretch. And defensively, we were better. But the, at the same time, they missed a lot of shots at the end. They're probably tired from playing six guys only on Saturday and then flying down here and then playing. But uh, uh, the best thing to me was the fact we had uh, – only two turnovers in the second half. And uh, I think that, uh, needless to say, was big for us. I think we just needed to win. But I don't mind winning ugly. I just hate stupidity. And uh, we, I mean, guys, at the end of the first half, the easiest defense in basketball is to switch the screen on the ball. And we're screaming red, red, red. We're switching the screen on the ball. And we don't switch. And guy gets a wide open three at the end of the half. I mean, I'm looking around. There's not very many athletic-looking people in here, okay? But I bet you that I could say, all right, if there's a screen on the ball switch, you would do that. So, yeah, we needed to win. I didn't give a blankety blank what it was pretty ugly or what it was. He took the ball to the basket. He got three good passes. Uh, Luke gave him the pass once on the layup. He got the dunk uh, on a good drive. He got another good pass and made it. But two of them were drives to the basket where he's he's effective doing that. And uh, his shot hasn't been going in for him. And he uh, took it to the basket and made good plays. I think he was probably the key to the game. I mean, 11 points. And, and if I'm not mistaken, I didn't even put him in the first six minutes of the second half. Uh, so he didn't get in until about 11, 12, or 13. But I uh, thought he was huge for us. Well, as I'll be honest, too, I thought that TJ was really struggling. Even in the first half, I thought he was sucking wind. One time about eight minutes into the game, he was sick this weekend. And uh, I think Kenny is our best defender and really does a nice job. For the most part, he stayed on the floor. You know, he pump fakes you a lot. And we got two or three, I think we had one shot clock violation, but we had two or three near shot clock violations where they just throw something up. And a couple of those times, it was Kenny staying on the ground and being very sound fundamentally. Well, you, I've said a hundred times in the last 31 years, I like to win in 80s, 90s, or 100s. But to be a good team, you got to win in the 50s and 60s. And you look at the score, we had like 23 points. The only time I looked at the clock in the first half, or score in the first half, we had like 23 with 11 minutes to go. I mean, that's that's a really good pace for us. And then we turned dumb and uh, didn't work at it after that. I think the second half, Mooney, gosh, he's really good. He likes playing here. We should have uh, if I'd known about him and recruited him. He loves this place. He was six for six last year from three-point line. And what did he end up tonight? Seven for 12, 16 points, 19 rebounds. I'd, I'd trade for him. I'd trade three or four of you guys for him.